Welcome YouTubers to another great video. Now in today's video, I wanna talk all about those hidden order blocks. Now what is a hidden order block? Well, you'll find out if you continue to watch the rest of this video. Now we're on the US dollar CAD, and I wanna first go through this four hour time frame to show you what a hidden order block will actually look like. But before we do that, let me just do a quick sketch so you can actually see how we'll look at a hidden order block. So we're going to be looking for price to, let's say, be in an upwards trend. We're going to see a retracement. You're going to be able to mark off with a trend line is those last two swing points in the market. This is where you're going to look for a break of that trend line. Once we see a close and a break of that trend line, this is where we're going to start looking for your hidden order blocks. And it's in here where we'll find a hidden order block or area of demand and we'll look for price to pull back, where you're either gonna to look to take an entry with the use of the certificate strategy, with your entry at the level of the entry of the order block or your demand zone, the stop at the low, and you'll be looking for price to head higher. Now that is one way to take an entry. The second way will be using that confirmation entry for those supply and demand traders, or the change of character for you smart money traders. And it's right here you will find that entry on a lower time frame to capture high risk toward trades. Now don't worry if you're not sure on those concepts on the lower time frame entry, because later at the end of this video, you'll be able to watch the next video all about the change of character and exactly how you can use that with this strategy. So hidden order blocks is a simple technique for you to use and to find highly profitable winning trades. Now what I'm going to do first, we'll go through this four hour time frame. I'll show you how you can apply it. We'll look at some different time frames as well on this pair. And then perhaps we'll have a look at the pound US dollar or Euro USD as well, if we have time in this video. Now the first thing we wanna see is we wanna see a trend formation. We can identify that the market here broke this structure high. We rallied up, let me just get my line again. Actually, let me use this drawing tool. So we rallied up, pulled back, and we continue to go higher. So what that actually happened is we broke structure high here, and we broke this structure as well. So we're in a bullish bias, and the market then is in fact pulling back. Now we already have, let me just remove everything quickly. So we already have on this chart, and we can identify let me just get rid of that. Okay, so we can really identify we have this area of a bearish order block sitting here when the market's pulled back into, or you can mark it as your area of demand. And this is where we're looking for a reversal, either on a set of get strategy or that confirmation entry or that change of character. And you can see the market rallied away. Now that's a traditional way to look for an entry, understanding this is this swing move up and this is your pullback. I will show you down here how you could have caught this move in the market all the way up without waiting for this to pull back. This is where you can start capturing those high risk to all trades. So the other thing is when price comes into this area, if we remove this zone, we're going to start to identify these swing points. These fractals on the chart is the greatest way to see a swing point if you struggle. But we'll mark off the last two swing points. We're going to look for the next candle to break through and close this trend line, which happens right there on that bullish candle. Once we identify this, we're going to look for a hidden order block. And on this occasion, this last bearish candle before the breakout, we mark this out as your area of demand or your hidden order block. And you can see we mark it from the close price to the low of that candle. And this is where you look for price to pull back in, which it does, and we've rallied away. And that's the simple idea of using this strategy. You're waiting for the break of that trend line, then you pull back for your entry and your continuation. Now, if this happens, like we've just seen, right at this area here on the chart, which is a previous order block, and we see this breakout, it's also another way to confirm the reversal in the trend after it comes out of this area of demand or this order block. So I hope you get the concept of what the hidden order block is. Now it's here on this pullback, you, as I said, you can either look for that change of character or you look for a set and forget strategy entry. 
Now there is much more inside the channel that's going through both of those types of entries. Or there is obviously the Forex Masterclass course, which is linked below in the description of this video if you want to take your training to the next level. Now, if you're looking for some free courses as well on understanding trend trading and the basics of supply and demand, if you want to learn more on either of those subjects, there are two free courses right now, links below in the description of this video as well, if you want to grab those two courses while they're free. So here, when we see price pulling back in here, I'll quickly briefly go through that change of character, but don't worry, that video is coming to the end of this video. We'll have a look at this area now quickly on a 30 minute time frame. Now this is where you can use once again and understand the use of the hidden order block. And when we see price pulling back in, we pull back, we go back in, we pull back again, and eventually we go low once again, and then we break out. So if you're using a break of structure right here, and we see price leaving behind this area of an order block, price pulls back in and we rallied away. So that's your normal way of using a change of character. Now the other way is you use obviously that trend line. We can mark out that trend line and we see the breakout on that candle of the trend line leaving behind that hidden order block. That's how you can start to find those hidden order blocks and actually confirm that with entry out of this area of previous order block or that area of demand. So I hope you understand the concepts. And of course, if you're not sure on anything, just rewind and go through this video again, or leave a comment below and let me know that you're not understanding a certain part of this strategy. And remember, if I'm giving you some value, and I mean some great value in this video today, don't forget to give me that thumbs up because it's gonna help me to know that it is giving you value with these types of videos. So if we go back to the four hour time frame. We've gone through that potential entry there. Let's remove everything. What about what I said earlier? How you can actually capture this movement to the upside here? Now, the most simplest way here is we're going to go down to this area. Now, I can identify from this high to this level. Just mark it off. This would have been a swing point in the market. Now, if we go down to a 30 minute time frame here, let's go back to that area on price. Zoom in, and we can mark off this high to this high, and we can mark this line through. Now what we're looking for here is again that hidden order block. And you can identify on the breakout on that bullish candle closing through at the same time that actually breaks this high on that structure. Then we can draw our hidden order block, or you could also say this is an area of demand. And you mark it from the high to the low, drag it across, and that is where you look for your entry and price pulls back, either on that send and forget strategy entry, which is a great way to use a trade like this in the market with a send and forget strategy, or you look for that confirmation entry for supply and demand traders or that change of character for you smart money traders. And you can see that this is a powerful move to the upside. And all of that is applied once you understand the use of that hidden order block. Now, once again, as I did before, let's have a quick look down in this area. I haven't checked this yet. We're going to do a five minute time frame. We can find that area quickly. We'll zoom in. And let's have a look at this area on the chart. Once again, if we're going to apply our change of character, we need to see price breaking this structure here. This happens on this candle, and then we'll be drawing out our zone. This is our zone, price never comes back. If you're using your reversal, this is your trend line. Again, we break out with that candle. It's the same area on this occasion for your hidden order block. And price never came back for an entry. But you can identify in here, we have a similar looking thing with this movement down. And on a one minute time frame, which I don't know if I can go back that far, we will quickly have a look. Let's go to the one minute time frame. I don't think I can go back that far. But we'll just have a quick look in this video. We might be able to. So let's have a look at this area. Again, you're applying the same technique each time. 
And you can see here, we have this trend line drawn. We break out with this bullish candle. And at the same time, we can then draw out, this is our last bearish candle. And we mark this off as our era on our order block, our hidden order block, or an era of demand. And you can see that price rallies away, pulls back in. Great entry here. And the market, after that, we see it powers all the way to the upside. So if you didn't take this higher time frame entry, and you missed this one, you still had an opportunity on the pullback here on that one minute time frame. Now again, we do have this area. We have a breakout on that candle. I'll be looking at most probably this low to mark this zone out like this. This last bearish candle ahead to the low. And again, we can take this line away. We even had an entry there where we see the market pulling back after the break. Now that didn't break the highs. So once again, it is using a hidden order block. Now that's the simple technique that you can apply today onto your trading, understanding the use of the hidden order block or the area of supply and demand if you're a supply and demand trader. But if you've enjoyed this video today, you've got some great value, don't forget to hit that thumbs up for me today in this video. Next video coming up, which is on that change of character, which will help teach you how to find those reversal trades at an area of a potential area of an order block here in the market or an area of demand and how to find those reversal trades on the lower time frames for those higher risk to all trades.